never forget those loved ones ever. You never will, right? Many of the seats at the annual gathering of Saturna crash survivors sit empty, as if occupied by ghosts. If we had had pop-out windows, I really believe that the majority of people on that plane would be here alive today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our table would be full. Exactly nine years ago, a beaver float plane stalled and crashed shortly after takeoff from Saturna Island in BC's Gulf Islands. All eight on board survived impact, but the plane started to sink. Six passengers couldn't escape and drowned, including a mother and her six-month-old daughter. You're just stuck in a tin can that, you know, yeah. you're trapped. Only Barbara Glenn and pilot Francois St. Pierre survived because doors beside them cracked open, other doors jammed. Maybe we could have done this, maybe we could have done that, but at some point, those people are gone. After investigating the Saturna tragedy, the Transportation Safety Board made two key safety recommendations, that float plane operators install rapid emergency exits, such as pop-out windows, and that passengers be required to wear personal flotation devices, or PFDs, during flights. Nine years on, the industry regulator, Transport Canada, still hasn't brought in those changes. It's time to, to get on with it. Now, the chair of the Transportation Safety Board is calling for action because people keep drowning. In 2011, a young boy in a Quebec float plane crash. In 2012, two men after a northern Ontario accident. This summer, five people died in two crashes in B.C. and the Northwest Territories. We are seeing some of the same types of issues recurring over and over again, and that's why we feel it's so important to take action quickly. CBC News has learned the delay has been due, at least in part, to pushback from the float plane industry. Documents obtained under access to information show in 2011 an industry stakeholder group urged Transport Canada to reject rapid emergency exits, citing prohibitive cost. The regulator backed off. In 2016, the industry complained about the cost of mandatory PFDs. Transport Canada said PFDs could be required anyway. Now the transport minister says new safety regulations are coming. I, I would say to you that that's going to be soon, a matter of months. Some float plane operators have installed pop-out windows voluntarily and say they don't want to be seen as resisting safety improvements. We just want to make sure that when the regulations come out, they're, they work for us, so that we're not going to have to pass too many costs down to a customer. For the Saturna survivors, change should have come years ago. Patrick Morrissey wasn't on the plane, but it was his wife and infant daughter who died. I used to be angry. I used to be frustrated. Now I'm just sad because how many more have to die? Eric Rankin, CBC News, Surrey, B.C.